Hi, I'm Hugh from SRI, and this video is going to show you one way of, of detecting leaks in the gas chromatograph. So there's another video that shows the other method of um, checking for leaks called the pressure drop method. But sometimes it, you just can't find the leak, and this is an alternate way to do it, which is very helpful. So we'll start out with a gas chromatograph, and if we're using some gas like nitrogen or argon or helium for carrier gas, then it's a good idea to switch temporarily to hydrogen. So this GC here, I have hydrogen connected to the carrier gas, even though I may in the future switch back to nitrogen or helium. And you can, you can hear those hydrogen sensors going off just when I loosened that fitting. So hydrogen sensors are also called combustible gas detectors. So if you wanted to purchase one of these things, they're about $100. This one, I think, was only about $25. And this is what it looks like on the Amazon um, account page. So this was $100. This is the one that, that we're using mostly today, although this one does work, but it doesn't seem to be quite as sensitive as the $100 one. So if it's $25 or $100, it's somewhere in that price range. So it's not prohibitive to... Um, to get it to work. So you, you, you pressurize the system with hydrogen and then you sniff each fitting in the GC to see if you can detect a hydrogen leak. So I'll make a little hydrogen leak intentionally and then we'll see if we can pick it up with the, the sensor. See how, the, see how the sensor's going off when it senses the hydrogen leaking out of that fitting? Right. And so that's the more expensive one. And then here's the the less expensive one. So you can see it, it still works, but for very small leaks, the more expensive one is, is more sensitive, so it's easier to find small leaks. There's one other trick that we like, because a lot of times the leaks are going to be in the connections between the column and the tubing, or between column and column, or something in the column oven. And there is, when the GC is on, there's there's air blowing into the column oven from this cooling fan here, but you can disconnect the cooling fan temporarily by just pulling up this this white plug. It just plugs in and out back here. So if, if I if I unplug this, then it stops the flow of cooling air into the column oven. So that makes it a little easier for me to pick up a hydrogen leak when there's no airflow to disguise it. So that's really the story. Um, the other method of testing for leaks, the pressure drop method, is very useful also, but there's another video entirely on that subject. So thank you, and that'll be it.